Good morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about a new light tackle range of rods that we've brought out. Um, in terms of usage wise, you're looking really at the targeted the bass scene with these, but the spinning rods are deadly for something like fishing in the bay, fishing in estuaries, that kind of thing. Now, it's called the Fugo. You'll see from the, the pictures that we're going to put in, they are absolutely beautiful sticks. The little, the dark with the, the, the red accents, the maroon that comes through is just beautiful. Now, aluminum oxide guides across. You've got the hook keeper on all the different models. We've got three models that we've brought in. There's a six foot six spinning rod, um, a seven foot spinning rod, and a seven foot three bait caster rod. Now, out of all of them, the bait caster probably looks the nicest because of the little, you got the, uh, the blank peeping through. They've all got downlocking uh, winches on them. Obviously the trigger grip on the bait caster. They've got a, what they call a hybrid uh, grip design. You've got cork at the bottom and then the EVA just on the, the top of it over here. You've got a aluminum reel seat, but it's got the, the hood on there. So you can see the small little plastic insert. Now that helps just to not scratch your reel they are important to us, we don't want them uh, being scuffed. So in terms of action, this is a medium heavy. You go across the board, they actually are the medium spinning rods, medium heavy bait caster. So that just gives you a little bit more flexibility, the seven foot three, bit of extra length. The, the bait caster can do everything from your frogging down to the worms, even to the crankbait. It's got a soft enough tip for that. So that you're gonna pair up with one of Dawa's multiple uh, Bait casters, if it's my money, I'm going straight to the Tatula. It's just a beautiful reel. We won't go into the actual details of it, but that pet on there, beautiful, you'll see from the pics, it just, it works nicely. Now, the spinning rods, they've got a very, very ergonomic reel seat. It looks a bit funky, but once it's in the hand, it actually fits so nicely, that curve, very comfortable on the hand. The downlocking reel seat sits nicely there. The red accents are just, yeah, they are, are, are <laughs> mesmerizing. So, unfortunately, I, I, I dislike Dawa because now I have to buy a new rod and uh, <laughs> the rod room is looking very full already. So, thank you for that. But yeah, the aluminum oxide guides, oxide inserts, you got very slim and powerful blanks. This, um, you have to pair with a Ninja. It just, it works so well. You'll see when, once, once we're on, yeah? Sizing wise, the 2500 or the 3000, either or, are going to work beautifully on there. If you look at that, we just take it on there so we don't stab myself or someone else. You're looking at the nice red accents, the red of the ninja complements that beautifully, the black, everything. Just it, it's this combo the 7 foot with the 3000 ninja, 8 pound J braid, you will be a foot away for pretty much everything in the bay. Um, and yeah, like we mentioned with the Tatula, we're not going to go into real features. It's just to, to show you a, a nice pairing on there. Now, I'd go the 2500 on the 6 foot 6 and the 3000 onto the 7 foot. Would work beautifully. But yeah, guys, that's the, uh, the Fugos. They are very, very popular overseas. You just have to, to search YouTube for that. But these rods are going to be something that if you're into your, your light tackle spinning or your bass fishing, these are rods that not only look great, but they perform well, well above their price tag. So if you're looking for something new to add on the boat or uh, a little light, light rod to add for your spinning arsenal, come have a look. They are worth every single cent. Also got a nice little keeper, a nice little feature, always good to have. And they've put in a spot that doesn't catch your line. A lot of them will have on the sides or on the top. And if your braid's whipping off here, if the hook keeper sits either facing forward or on the side, your braid often catches there and you get a part off. So, very, very well done, Dawa. That is a clever little addition there, just something small. And yeah, beautiful rods and something you definitely have a look at. The Dawa Fugo. Cheers, guys.
Level.